Welcome to Sometime 5. Today we're working with page 33. And we're going to talk about multiplying fractions. When you multiply fractions, always multiply the numerator first. Then multiply the denominators. The answer should always be written as a mixed number or a fraction in its lowest terms. For example, 6 eighths times 2 sixths. That's 6 over 8 times 2 over 6. If we first multiply the numerators, that's 6 and 2, we get 12. Then we multiply the denominators, that's 8 and 6, that's 48. We get 12 over 48, which is the same as 1 quarter. 1 quarter is a fraction in its lowest terms. If either numerator has a factor in common with either denominator, in this case 6, you can divide them by that common factor before you multiply, like this. 6 over 8 times 2 over 6. You see the two 6s? So we divide them by that common factor. So we get 1 times 2 equals 2, and 8 times 1 equals 8. 2 over 8 in its lowest terms becomes 1 over 4. But to make it even easier, we can do the same thing, but we'll find that we have two factors in common. We have 6 and 6, but we also have 2 and 8. We have 1, 2, and 4 2s are 8. So 6 over 8 times 2 over 6 is the same as 1 times 1 over 4 times 1 equals 1 over 4. Get it? Divide by common factors before you multiply. 6 times 7 over 10 is the same as 6 times 7 over 10. Is the same as, well, which common factors do we have? Well, 6 is the same as 3 times 2, and 10 is the same as 5 times 2. So 6 and 10 have common factors, 2. So 6 times 7 becomes the same as 3 times 7 over 5. That's the same as 21 over 5, or 4 and 1 fifth. And 4 and 1 fifth is a mixed number. If we're going to multiply mixed numbers, then we should make them into improper fractions before we multiply them. 3 and 5 sevenths multiplied by 2 thirds. Well, first we must make 3 and 5 sevenths into an improper fraction. That's 3 times 7 plus 5 over 7 multiplied by 2 over 3. Well, 3 times 7 is 21, plus 5 is 26 over 7, multiplied by 2 over 3, which makes 52 over 21, or, as an improper fraction, 2 and 10 twenty-ones. As you work with page 33, you'll find there are two ways to multiply a whole number and a mixed number. Try and find out yourselves how to do this.